Welcome to the kitchen. It's time to get cooking. Today's breakfast will be by Chef Flora. Great to That's have it. you in the studio with us today. So what are we having for breakfast? So we are having fish in the broccoli and cauliflower sauce. Okay, fish in the broccoli and cauliflower sauce. I know, I said fish in the broccoli and cauliflower sauce. Fish and the broccoli and cauliflower sauce. Sounds like a mouthful. Okay, let's talk about the ingredients then. What are we okay, making so of? here, right, this... And the combination of the pepper mix I have here, and okay. then and I have... Uh, okay, so all of these are yes, in there? Yeah. Okay, so we'll talk about all of these. What are they? Okay, so we have, we have the fresh tomatoes. Okay. We have... Uh, green pepper. Green, green pepper. Yes. Uh, okay. Bell pepper, green. Onion. We have onions. Okay. We have chili, uh, uh, butter, uh, scotch bell pepper, scotch pepper. Okay. garlic, okay. and we have the cold flour. Okay. We have... Uh, Broccoli. Okay. okay. Then All we right. have mackerel. Okay. Olive oil. Okay. Seasoning cubes, curry, okay. bay leaf, and those are the basic uh, ingredients for this uh, In here, sauce. The In here, the uh, broccoli uh, and yes, the cauliflower. Yes, it's already, I see it here, it's already uh, steamed. Okay. And, uh, you know, in How did you steam it? Uh, you just put it in water? No, you just okay. uh, put it in a warm water with okay. salt. Okay. And then you leave it there for like uh, two minutes. Okay. And then you wash More it More like off. blanching, yes. but instead with warm water. Yes, okay. just wash it and then, and here we are. Okay. Then, um, so this fish, this mackerel, what's the local name for it? It's called Kote. Kote, yes. Yeah. So if you've always wondered why they write mackerel, because you see some, they'll write mackerel, they'll write Kote. So I'm always wondering that. Is it that there's a different type of kote or a different type of mackerel? So no, I'm glad this uh, uh, Chef Flora has clarified that. The, the kote is, uh, is a, I think, maybe a local name. But mackerel is a collective name for the type of this type of fish, like titles, comes under this, tuna comes under this. Okay, yeah. okay. So All this right, so let's uh, get thing. started then. What's the that's process? Right. Tell me about it. What okay, do we the do? The first thing we're going to do is to warm the oil with okay. our onions. Okay. And then put in the pepper mix. Okay. And then we fry for some time. Okay. Put in the bay leaf. Okay. Curry and then for That's some minutes then we we'll come back. So, so why did you have to boil this fish? Couldn't it have been cooked with the pepper? That's what I'm doing here. But this looks cooked already. It's already it's been boiled. Yes, it's boiled. So that's what I'm asking. Well, what why we is do it? Is to uh, you prepare prep everything just for this. Okay, so program. as to hasten the, the, the process. Now, bay leaf, yes, bay leaf in soups and stews. So when when people hear bay leaf, the first thing that comes to their mind is jollof rice, fried rice. <laughs> but then using it for stews and soups, what benefit is it? Uh, How does it improve? Why uh, why we use bay leaf more in most uh, food ingredients is because it has a health benefit mm. uh, generally uh, apart from the flavor mm. so a lot of people use it for the flavor but I use it because of the benefit mm. that we get from it okay so it's mainly for the health benefit so yes, in what other ways can we use bay leaf so apart from jello can, rice and you can use this in any stew any stew yes can you put it in soups as well of course. Like a furry roll, mm. a goosey. That's what, mm. that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> yeah. But can you yes, put it in pepper so, soup? Oh, and I've not used it in pepper soup. I before, think I'll but, try it. But you can try I think it. I'll try it. That's a real good it. health benefit. Mm. Now, the cold flour, I would like to talk more about it. Okay. Uh, it's a very, very uh, fantastic uh, vegetable. Okay. Uh, it helps weight loss. It helps the memory. And it has a good fiber in it, which okay. can... Uh, fight against uh, phyto uh, uh, cancer and all those stuff, so okay. terminal diseases. So okay. it's always good to have them, you know, in some of the, if you can eat it regularly, uh, it, we enjoy the nutrients in it. Okay, so I believe so, at this point you have to cut up um, the onions, yes. right? Okay, so let me get you the chopping board and then uh, the knife as well. So you can cut it up and we can start cooking because I'm sure everyone is looking forward to cooking uh, for this morning. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So there we go. Let's get started.
All right. So are we going to be chopping it up or slicing it? No, we slice it a little bit. Okay. Just to, okay. Uh, just to give it the oil, the flavor. Okay. The onion flavor and also to warm it. Okay. So it's okay. always good to put in. Uh, so what's your own trick for cutting onions? Because I feel like everyone has their own trick. Uh, I like to cut my onions uh, like, just like this, like, you know, into tiny cubes. I like oh. it, you know. We have some people that don't so much like onions. Yes. So sometimes you have to make it very, very... Very little so that it's um, yes, not... Yes, that they don't even want that. But most especially the children, they don't like oh. onions and stuff. So you can make it. In fact, you can even blend it. Just okay. make it very, very uh, invisible for them to... All right. Uh, let's... Okay. So we have let's uh, start with the process. Okay. All right. So, mm. we'll pour the oil first, as you said, then you put the onions. So, mm. up to it. Okay? Get hot, this. okay. So, while we wait for the pan to heat up, and then, of mm. course, we start the cooking process. Welcome again to the kitchen. We still have Chef Flora in the studio with us, and she's making breakfast. Uh, so, what did you call breakfast again? Uh, it's uh, fish in the... Broccoli and cut flour sauce. Okay. It's so. a quick sauce and it's very, very delicious. Uh -huh. Trust me. Nutritious too. I like and the very nutritious, nutritious part. part. Very, yes. very, very important. Yes. Okay, so that's the sauce. It's almost so it's ready. Almost ready. So run us through the process of what you did to arrive at this. Okay, so what I did, the first thing I did, I warmed the oil with onions. Okay. And then I turned in the pepper mix. Okay. And I've fried for like 10 minutes now. So the next thing is to just add the macre okay. into it and allow it to steam with the pepper mix. So the, then, the pepper mix just cooks for 10 minutes? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. yes because the pep, it's the pepper mix that has been parboiled before. Oh, it has, oh, it has been, it has been yes, parboiled. Yes. Because I know normally pepper yes. mix ought to cook. Yes. Okay, no, so this one it's is already parboiled. Uh, parboiled. Okay. How so long did you parboil it for? Just for... Five minutes. Five Depends, minutes. So altogether, yes. 15 minutes cook time yes, for the yes. uh, pepper mix. Okay. Yes. So okay. I'm going to put the macra now, the seasoning okay. clips, um, just a little salt. And then the vegetables goes in last. Last, when yes. everything is ready. Yes. Okay, just so we'll put in, in the macra so now. In the macra. I'm going so to besides macra, is there anything else I can use? Yes. Um, any fish of your choice. Any fish of your choice yes. can be used. Okay. Yes. So it's it's okay for you to want to um, do stuff you want. Be yes. Besides um, fish, can I make use of chicken? Yes. yes. Okay. You so can make use of uh, shredded chicken, shredded mm. beef. Okay. Just as please. But the most important thing is just the vegetables. Experiments. Yes. Experiments. Yes. But remember to use the vegetables. That's the what counts. What other vegetables can we add to this? Uh, you can still add um, uh, the spinach. Okay. Uh, you can have, you can you can use uh, uh, kale. Can I put carrots? Yes. You can, you can put, put carrots, carrots as well. Yes. Okay. So and you can shred kale inside it. I am a ginger and garlic person. Yeah. It's, it, would it be okay for me to include ginger and garlic in this sauce? Yeah, you just you just fished out the hidden, the hidden, uh, the hidden other things inside the pepper mix. Ah, okay. Cause I love ginger and garlic so yes, much, so, so that there's almost nothing I don't cook with uh, with yeah, ginger and very, garlic. Very so, Even noodles. Yes. Yeah, I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that's how much mix, I like it. Yes, yes, I'll good. put powdered one and I'll put raw one. Like that's how much I love it. I put it in my stew, my. My rice, everything I make has ginger and garlic in it. Okay, so you're breaking the fish in it. Yeah. Oh, so it's going to be like a proper, proper fish sauce. Yes. But how do we debone it? We'll take okay, out the we'll bone. Just take out the bones. Okay. This one ha doesn't have those uh, tiny, tiny bones. It's just the, oh, the skeleton yes. we are bringing out from. So it. the the bone will definitely be chewable. Yes. So it's oh, it's all right. It's okay. Yes. All right. So yeah. this sauce is coming almost, along. Almost quite nice. And it's almost ready. Almost ready. Okay. And it can go with 
Anything you like. Yum. Yes. Oh my god. Yum. Just imagine having potatoes, this sauce with yam. Spaghetti. Or boiled potatoes. Or potatoes. Spaghetti. It's actually a quick ah. one and it's so oh, easy. And you can pre prepare wow. it. You know, if you want to serve a larger number of people. Fantastic. Okay, so uh we'll keep uh, putting breakfast together. Remember after this, the only thing going in the vegetables, first um, seasoning cubes, and then of course uh, the bell pepper and the vegetables and the food is ready. Really simple meal, something you can do for your family. I'm thinking sandwich. Yes, put it inside bread, toast it, and you're good to go. There are different ways you can experiment with food. And of course, we teach you many of such ways on Wake Up Nigeria. Okay. Thank you, uh, Chef Flora. So far, so good. Yeah. And welcome to the kitchen. Okay, so today's breakfast is by Chef Flora. And she's made us uh, rice with um, fish, fish in broccoli, broccoli and cauliflower, cauliflower sauce. sauce. Oh. Okay, so please dig in. We want please. to have your feedback, please. Okay, thanks so much. Please go ahead. Go for the sauce, go for the sauce. <laughs> oh, so what do you think? Fine. Ah. Nice, huh? <laughs> Amazing flavors. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. All cut sea chef, Laura. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's been a wonderful Monday, it World is. Freedom Day, World Bounty Day. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, mm. this is also the land of the free and the home brave. Thank you for being a part of this show. We will see you tomorrow. 7 a.m., y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.